All right, so our job today is to find an equation to the graph of this trig function. Uh, I think it's a sine function because we haven't talked about phase shift, so I'm assuming there is no phase shift here. And our function starts off here at zero, goes down, goes back up, goes down again. It looks like a sine curve to me. It also looks like an inverted sine curve. The reason, I'm sorry, a reflected sine curve. The reason I think that is because sine usually goes like this, doesn't it? It goes up, then down, then like this doesn't it so this has been reflected it still has an amplitude of three but the a value is going to be negative three so we're going to get our f of x curve is equal to negative three sine of omega times x and how do we find this omega value well the way we find this omega value is we know this has to do with period and pe the period of the curve is equal to two pi over absolute omega. So given that, what we know is what the period is. And the period, to go through one cycle of this curve, it's pi. So we get pi is equal to 2 pi over omega. I'm going to put this up a little bit so you can see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to rationalize this, and I'm just going to cross multiply it to here and to here. And we get pi omega is equal to 2 pi. Right? From here, we're trying to get omega by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by pi. Divided by pi. And we get omega equals 2. So I think that works out good. So we go back. Now we're going to just finish this and fill this in and get 2x. We, the way we can check to see if our math was good or not is actually pretty straightforward and simple. So let's do that really, really quickly. We have a second here. And it will look like this. The amplitude is, the amplitude here is three. This is all what I really want to check on here. So I want to say the period is equal to two pi over omega. We know that the period is pi, so we're just going to check and see if that comes out. I believe omega is two, so two, two over two is one, and one times pi is equal to pi. So that does check out, doesn't it? Okay, you guys, I hope this is really helpful. The way that we're going to get good at this is we're just going to do a, a ton of them. So hopefully you're committed to that. The more you do, the easier it will get. All right? Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe.